Good morning everybody, today I'm just going to do a quick video on what's happening with the horse-drawn carriage issue. Um, they're still trading um, on the streets, um, they may be trading illegally, um, they're considered vehicles, so they have had their special permit not renewed and that has been not renewed since mid this year. So if you see them um, trading illegally, uh, please take photos, videos and send them into the council so the council will know about this. Um, what is what is illegal, what's legal? Well they have a, a spot um, uh, just outside the city uh, centre that they can park at and trade uh, but they're not allowed to trade in the city so they can pick up pre-bookings, but they can't um, trade illegally. So like if you see them exchanging money or like inviting people to come um, have a horse-drawn carriage ride, uh, just take photos and video it. You're not allowed to sit in the street and just say, do you want a horse ride? Do you want a horse ride? Because that's not picking up pre-bookings, but it's explained more on the Facebook page, Melbourne Against Horse Drawn Carriages. If you see them parking when where a vehicle's not supposed to park or where a vehicle's not supposed to drive, like in tram zones. Also, if you see them doing illegal U-turns when there's a not do, um, well, there's their signage saying don't do U-turns. Um, if you see them parking for long periods of times in a, like a drop-off zone, um, there's one outside Target that they're being like, that's, I know that's a drop-off zone and there's one out opposite Flinders Lane, um, the train station, which is also like a, like a drop-off zone for like any events that happen in that little square area. But there's several parking spots that they park at that are like for an hour or two. So if you see them there for more than an hour, that's illegal because you're only supposed to park there for an hour and they're not allowed to, um, invite people in this boat and he's supposed to be there to pick up pre-bookings so this is all the sort of stuff that they're doing um they're parking outside the church near flinders lane um parking opposite flinders lane in that like um drop-off zone um in chinatown they used to park outside on swanson street and outside lush but then now they've moved to inside chinatown um because they're heading aiming at like the Asian tourists, like just walking past. Um, they used to get a lot of Asian tourists in um, Swanson Street, but they're building the new train station. So then that's why the permit was taken away because of all the construction on Swanson Street for the new train station and upgrading the lines. So yeah, um, if you want to donate to the cause, there's also a link on the Melbourne Against horse drawn carriages Facebook page and also just share any of the information on your Facebook or Twitter or any of your other social medias and I just hope to encourage people to not do anything like silly like they like to take photos of us doing like silly things like holding up banners or chalking just um take photos and send it into the council and all that sort of stuff but there's more information on melbourne against horse drawn carriages facebook page and yeah it's going to be a really hot summer it's already at 30 to 33 degrees during the day and they stand those horses out there in above 35 degrees and i think that's the limit that they're allowed to be in there in the heat um but even at 33 degrees with 25 percent humidity is just it's not good enough for the horses and thanks for watching.